Am I the a hole for unintentionally getting a midwife fired? Throw away for anonymity. This also happened a few months ago, but I've recently been told I took things too far. I'm active duty military. My wife and I began trying for a baby about two years after we got married, and after a few months she got pregnant with our first child. About six weeks after she found out, I was deployed for a six-month stint. Sadly, that meant I would miss all of her OB appointments, except the very first one to confirm she was pregnant. Early in her pregnancy, she decided using a midwife would give her a better birth experience, and I was totally on board because she's the one giving birth and I wanted her to feel 100% confident in the people assisting. It had also been decided that the people in the room aside from medical staff would be me for obvious reasons, and one of our mothers. My mum lives about an hour by car from the base I'm stationed at, while her mum lives a four-hour plane ride away. Ideally, her mum would be able to get there in time, but she loves my mum too, and was okay with her being there if labour went fast and her mum couldn't make it in time. Fast forward to me getting back from the deployment and her being really close to giving birth. Like due in a week close. She was supposed to have an OB appointment that I would be able to go to, but ended up going into labor very early on the morning of the appointment. We go to the civilian hospital and they confirm she's in active labor. I called her mum, who immediately booked a flight that would have gotten her here at about noon. Then my mum, who came to the hospital a few hours later. A while later the midwife comes in to see my wife and was rude from the start. My wife told her I was back from deployment and she calmed down a little but was still clearly not happy I was in the room. Especially once I started cracking jokes to try to distract my wife from the pain of the contractions. Then the midwife glared at me and told me to take this seriously and have respect for my wife while she's in pain. I thought her hostility was weird, but was more focused on my wife and doing all I could to support her. As it got closer to noon, my wife was almost 9 centimeters dilated and so I decided not to go pick up her mum from the airport and had her take a cab instead, so I wouldn't have to leave for over an hour to drive to the airport. When her mum did get to the hospital, I left the LD floor briefly to go downstairs and pay the cab driver so her mum wouldn't need to. As the cab is pulling up, I got a call from my mum telling me the OB and midwife were there and the baby was coming fast. Of course I rushed back up there after tossing some cash to the cab driver so her mum and I could be there for the birth. When I got back to the LD floor, my mum was in the waiting room since she had to step out to make the phone call and also knew she would be waiting outside. I used the intercom to ask to be let back in and to my surprise, I was denied entry. They said they had an order to not let me or anyone in to see my wife. That was really confusing so I asked why and was just told I wouldn't be let in and not to tie them up on the intercom or security would be called. So the three of us waited outside since my wife didn't answer her phone as she was actively pushing our baby out. Well over two hours later she was able to call me back and asked where I had been. I told her the hospital staff wouldn't let me in, but I had been in the waiting room trying to get answers for almost 2.5 hours. Long story short, it was the midwife who told the desk staff that I wasn't to be let back in. She lied and said my wife had reported I was abusive and she didn't want me there. So not only did my poor wife have to give birth alone, and without me or her mum there for support, I missed the birth of my daughter. It meant a lot to me to be there to see my baby come into the world because I missed so much of the pregnancy and that was ripped away from me because this awful woman didn't like that I never showed up to a single appointment the entire pregnancy. Despite being told by my wife that I was deployed, Sue, with my wife's support, I filed a formal complaint about the midwife and she ended up getting fired by the OB's office. My wife is naturally on my side, but some of our friends have said I was wrong to make such a big deal out of it and taking away the woman's livelihood. Was I the a-hole for reporting her, which caused her to lose her job? I'd like the perspective of people outside the situation. Am I the a-hole for leaving my wife because she wants to be a foster parent for her nephew? My wife and I have been together for seven years. She is 52 and I am 43. When we first met, she told me she was a widow and had no intentions of getting married again. Two years later, we got married, LOL. We also had a pretty extensive conversation about children. She has a son who has grown and living on his own and she told me that one child was all she ever wanted. I have no kids and no desire to have children. 
I truly enjoy my freedom. My wife and I travel several times a year, and I love just not having that responsibility of taking care of a child. I'm an uncle to eight kids that's enough for me. I can always pick them up and drop them right back off when it's time. We had multiple conversations about this early in our relationship, so I thought the matter was settled. My wife's niece is 20 and has four kids with another on the way, all different fathers. The last two are twins. She is basically a deadbeat mom. The kids live with their grandmother, my wife's sister. As you can imagine, four kids is a lot to deal with. So apparently my wife and her sister hatched a plan to have my wife take one of the children. So not only has she changed her mind on the kid thing, she is taking one of the twins, splitting them up. Even if I was okay adopting fostering a kid, I think splitting up twins is crazy. Even the DHS worker didn't like this idea. However, the two older boys, five and three, are too attached to where they are now. So it's easier to deal with the twins as they are only 10 months old. I told my wife I was strongly against this. Having a kid will completely change our lifestyle and I didn't sign up for this. Also, we live in an upper middle class neighborhood while the sister lives in one of the worst areas of the city. It's really messed up that one twin would have a privileged life while the other twin will grow up with very little resources. Also, where the hell is the kid going to sleep? We have four bedrooms. I tore down the connecting wall to one of the bedrooms and made a huge master suite. The second bedroom I turned into a massive walk-in closet for my wife who is a clothes hoarder and the last bedroom is my office. Although I have a day job, I also have my own business that needs a dedicated space for me to work from. The basement is my man cave. The house is set up for just the two of us. Even though the house is pretty big, we don't have room for another human. So despite my constantly telling her this didn't work for me, what does she do? She just shows up one day with the kid. I tried, I put together the crib and put it in the master suite, have the car seat in my car, even went shopping for the boy. I just can't do it. Last weekend, I wanted to go to the Virgin Islands just to get away. She can't go because DHS has the kids set up for some therapy appointment. So I say, okay, let's go to the shore before summer is over. She can't because she planned on taking the kid to see his brothers. I'm just done. I took my go bag to work with me and am planning on staying at an extended suites hotel. I understand she doesn't want the child in the system because it's too much of a burden on her sister. But I didn't make that baby and I don't want to take care of any kids at all. Am I the asshole? The house is in my name, not hers, but I'm scared now because if I leave, she might have rights to my house. I just don't know what the hell to do. I thought I had the perfect life with her and now it's just, I don't know. Um. Sorry if this is long, I really needed to tell somebody and get this off my chest. 